And we're back. Uh, looks like we won the won the die roll. Um, thought I had said that. And yes, we'd like to play first. This hand is not good. We have one coming to play tap land. We are gonna mulligan this. This hand not great, but better than the last one. We'll find out what our opponent is playing and hope to recover in games two and three. Going down to five, I think this hand is better than a five card hand. Um, that being said, there have been some just nutty five card hands. Sorry about that. I had to uh, end a game that I had going. It's eating up a lot of system resources. Um, fetching here is just basically playing around Stifle. The problem with it is that, you know, I, I have the ability to get all my colors, but I don't necessarily know what my opponent is playing at all. So... Just seeing that, it may have been the right choice. Swords will help. Hopefully, uh, we don't need to use it. I'm playing the fetch land here instead of the bog because I'm hoping he'll crack. Which he didn't. Uh, there's a top. A couple of different things that that shows, I mean... I guess we'll just go for this one. The fetch resolved, so I'm going to grab the screw Savannah. I'm just going to go ahead and try and get that ooze out there. This way we can at least play the knight next turn. Looks like he's got a spell pierce. Snare. Caught it beforehand. Alright, so there's the bog. I mean, it's it's not great. So far, he looks to be mono blue. Um, I am trying my hardest to think of something that plays that many islands that's not just straight high tide or mono blue control. Uh, diamond worthless at this point. Just because he is playing so many plain blue cards. I'm not willing to uh, assume yet that he is... what's the word? Completely lost my train of thought. This is what happens when you record while you're sick. Playing days. There we go. If he is mono blue... well, he's not mono blue. If he was mono blue, days would be out of the picture, or out of the question. They need to make their land drops as, as fast as possible. They need to keep, make them consistently, and they can't keep setting themselves back. Days being an early game card, yeah, it's needed in the early game. No, days being an early game card, they can't wait till later on to play it. Ugh. Oh. I have had this cold. Yay, more action. Let's see if this one makes it. Are we forcing? No. At least he hasn't wasted our white source yet, or a black source. More so the white source right now. Um, it's like he found something that he wanted. Yay, top is gone. That'll help. Of course, that doesn't help. So Knight's getting lifted back up. Uh, we're going to pulse the Jace. If we play the Knight, he just bounces it and has his mana up next turn. If he doesn't play the Knight, or if we pulse the Jace, he has to play another one, which could leave him with one mana up, and we still have another uh, pulse. would have liked another land, but so be it. There's his force. Okay, now we're starting to go up without a paddle. Um, luckily, that'll only put him to five cards next turn after his brainstorm. So, I mean, we got rid of two cards. Let's see what he exiled. Click. Okay. 
Oh, not mine. We want his. Counterbalance. Top. Pulse. Still want the Jace out of the picture. Let's see if you put a 3 on top. If you did, we're pretty much out of this. Playing out of this... <coughs> Excuse me. We know he's got 3s. Oh, he had another force. So, looks like he will be out of... Uh, out of cards on top of his library so he'll have a couple cards that he can look at here he's gonna look at the top three then he'll brainstorm which it really doesn't make a difference like if you draw this card unless it's a fetch land it doesn't matter and there's no point in playing your land just in case you draw a fetch land with the jace um, his other options include uh, by the way he can hard cast the forest but that's about it now other options included, uh, yay, that's a green sun scene. Let's hope there's not a three on top. Finishing my thought, other options included spell pierce and counter spell, which, I mean, we can only hope. He's gone in quite a bit into his deck, and there's not a lot that we can do about some of it. We get to kill the Jace. Hopefully he does not have another one. Then the next turn we can go get if we get a when we get a land, we're gonna zenith for three or for two and blow up this counterbalance. Still one card in hand. He's a digging. So we have blue white. I would say land still, but there's no uh standstill yet. And I cannot think of the name of the other deck when there are no standstills. So, not Stoneforge Mystic. I would like a land, which is another reason why we're playing the knight. If the knight survives, we can go ahead and get the land next turn. The unfortunate thing is that he's only used one swords. So, the chance of this knight really surviving for too long are getting lower and lower. Oh, that's getting annoying. So, night's gone. Well, if he doesn't have anything in hand, I would love to just draw land. Getting rid of that counterbalance is top priority right now yay finally look at what I found the reason I'm playing this is because he plays Vendelian click so Krakus will help keep Vendelian click under control you've not had a three so far oh god he's got a counter spell <laughs> you don't see this very often um did make a misplay there i'll go over it later uh let's just say that i shouldn't have a swords in hand flashback to force of will it has gotten this far my bad hand has turned horrid. Let's find out if he's got one now. He showed us the swords to plowshares. So yeah, two extra damage so far. Ooh. 
We know he's got a one on top of his deck. There's probably a zero. We can bait the two. Oh, now there's a one on top of his deck. That had better be a Jace, buddy. If it is, yeah. We're not coming back from this anymore. I'm done playing around. I've seen enough of his deck to figure out what I'm doing. Okay. Way too many islands, buddy. Let's see, let's see. We don't need him actually casting his spells. I don't want him doing that. No reason to bear fight, if you're wondering. The debate right now that I'm having is, do I play this Teague? I mean, <coughs> the simple fact of the matter is, Jace costs 4, Force costs 5. I mean, there's a good possibility he could be bringing in Wrath. I'm going to go ahead and go for it. Um, Of his deck, I don't think this Jit's going to be very necessary. I'm also going to get rid of Two Swords and the Inquisition. He didn't run very many creatures, and the ones that he did have, I should be able to deal with. Um, beyond that, typically I would take out the diamonds. I think I'm going to leave 3 and 3 for swords, and no, we're going to go 4 and 2, and I am going to take out the diamonds. I mean, his deck is slow enough that we have the time to actually amass some mana if we draw it. Would have loved a fourth land there. But, I mean, sometimes you get things, and sometimes you don't. 